Hey guys, and welcome back to the Doc series of me, NG Paradox. Realized last time we had it on speed 3, which is not a good idea, because obviously everything's quite peaceful right now, so we haven't got much to worry about. Like I said in the end of the last part, no one's just been so good. But that just shows that this is this is true, the Doxes should have been kings. This is the most peace the realm's seen in a long time. And it's all thanks to the Norwin Dox. The Dox families was meant to rule. It brings peace for everyone. That lobster was meant to be high. High above the faces of all others. Our shells are iron, our claws are sharp. That's what our family always says. And at the moment, our shells are very iron. We're protecting the whole realms. Now, you being a kinslayer is not making me particularly want to bring you to court, make you my master of whispers. So, no, sir. You know, I'm, a, I'm a paranoid person as it is. You know, if you're a kinslayer, why would I trust you? Very good job, Mr. Rygate. You've been a good servant for our family. That is why your daughter got a nice little marriage. Though, of course, she did have that baby with that Stark. Birth from Waters. You would like to be regent, Mr. Font. Well, you are the hand of the king. You know what? Fine. You may be it. I think we'll be fine. Unless my son somehow gets killed. I think we'll be fine. Plus, it's only four more years. And his son isn't looking so great. Prince Leo, my grandson. Look at this. I mean, he's a bit of an intriguing guy, but it's not great for 12 years old. Mr. Peak. This seems to be educating him. Okay, he'd let me choose someone else. I'd like to choose a good fighter. A whore? We could get the whore to teach him, make him an ironborn, possibly. Probably not a good idea. Uh, Elden. Uh, Harlan Florent. Brave. Roth. Maybe Florent actually could be quite useful for him. I do want to get him good at fighting. Yeah, no one's particularly great at fighting there. Yep, can't see any great fighters apart from Florence. You know what? Maybe it's none of my concern. Maybe my maybe it's my son's concern. Maybe I shouldn't be interfering too much with my son's babies. I don't know. He's got some bad traits, though. He's brave, though. Temperate, humble, slothful, though, and lustful. Those, and he's a he's a lunatic. Yeah, we can't have our son being with him. Jacob Bejeevus. Now he's good at intrigue. Maybe I should be teaching him. I can't fight anymore, but still. Maybe I should be teaching him. You know what? I think I'm slothful. <laughs> I'm a bit slothful, maybe, yeah, so maybe it's not best. None of these people are particularly great. I mean, I, I am born, no. I'm going to go with Florent. You know what? Let's get him to send to be done by the Florence. Friend of a friend is a friend. I hope we'll be friends. Okay, there we go. So he's going to go get our grandson. Because that means our grandson should be in King's Landing. So I wonder if I click on this. Train shot. Only 7% chance. Master at arms. There are people better. We should make the Ironborn it. Yeah, he's a trained fighter. 10% chance. There we go. Much better. With a few disagreements, okay, and we become first fr close friends. Layla, isn't that nice? This random woman from the the Reach, Commander Darren the Chaste of the Warrior Sons. What has just happened here? He just took the North March. He just took the North March, Red Lake, and all of this. So he's only so Waterman. Okay, so a waterman just took that. We gained a lot of money. Very odd things. We need to get rid of the warrior's sons and stuff, but we haven't got the authority yet. I can't do it. I have to wait for my son to do this. The laws, I can't get rid of the faith. The faith is too strong. We took too much power from the crown. We have to sort that out. It's never a good idea to have a, you know, the faith having so much power. He's even got his own little piece of land here. The KG one. Interesting name. Hmm, Mr. Stakely. Revolt. 
I'll order them to stand down. We must have peace in the room. We've had peace for a long time. Thank you, Stakely. I never Stakely, but thank you very much. It's good to know we can count on the Stakelys. What is going on in the Westerlands? What is this? Is this another Lannister thing? Revolt against the rule of Lord Rupert. 77,000 men. I wonder if he's got a lot of Northmen on his side. No. No, he's got no one. It's just him. This seems very silly. I guess he tried to take his lands. Maybe he tried to take the Sarsfield away um, from the Sarsfield. That could have been why. That could definitely be why they've done that. What's going on down here? Can't see that completely. Uh, Roller Uprising. I'm going to have to deal with some Roller people. What are they? Oh, what are they? Up here? No, it's Bloodstone. It's pirates. That's it? That's all of them? Okay, we got a new maester. Uh, Medwick. He's actually pretty good. Huh. He's actually really weird. The Grand Maester Medwick. 64 years old. He's a Reachman. Very nice. Very good one indeed. I do like the fact they put that into the game so well. The Grand uh, Maester and stuff, how it works. I'm glad they put that in. But there's like hardly... There's hardly any Roller Uprising. What is this? Is this an Uprising for ants? What is going on here? Well, I guess we'll just destroy them. 7,000 men. <laughs> there we go. Done. He just ran into us. There we go. Poor him. He can stay in the dungeon. We have nowhere to send people now. There's no wall anymore. Y you've already asked me. Wait. Didn't I let you come here? I made you and I paid for you to come to me. I made you like a commander. And you left me. You must have. Oh, I, I know what it is. I guess because he's a black brother. Because he's actually was sent to the Night's Watch, I'm guessing. Um, when we took him, we probably just was taken back. That's probably what happened. The game probably automatically took him back. Well, that was silly. So I keep forgetting that it still is technically the Night's Watch. And it still works like the Night's Watch. Apart from the fact that the person ruling... Um, ooh. Oh yeah, I just... It's because I went on Vassal View. He actually controls the whole thing. 24,000 wildly men. That's actually pretty impressive. Raymond Crow Killer, 35 years old, skilled fighter, hedonist, charitable, proud, honest, gluttonous, patient, and diligent. That is one interesting man. Hunchback wife, many sons. He only has sons. <laughs> Bastard son first. Then a, a true son who's brave. Hmm, Prince Kane. Raymond Crow Killer. Well, he could fight them if we went into a war. 5,000 million. He could easily take down the Night's Watch. Jarman, you better be careful. How about the Oblitz? Well, we'll just leave him in there. What can we do to him? I don't know if there's anything particularly we can do. Banish the Night's Watch. Nah, it's fine. Just leave him in the jail cell. That's what we do with heretics. People of different religions go into the cells. That's how it works. We're just a lovely man. How'd your war go? He doesn't have Sarsfield. Let's see what happened to them. Okay, so I think he ex was slain. Okay, so he was actually slain by Cedric Mayat, who then died of poison. <laughs> that, was, that was ages ago. Wait, wait, what happened here? 43, that was ages ago, so you have it. Who used to have it then? Can't have been you. Ah, so I guess the father got it. Yeah, and then he was fighting him, and he got sent to the Night's Watch. Okay, well, lovely. Uh, has you set the title of Gailmont? Okay, Connington's. I've now got three Holdens. That's actually impressive. I'm getting impressed by a lot of these AI today. Very. I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed. 
Norwin, are you going to live forever? What is going... I really thought he'd be gone by now. Oh my god. Really? Re this... <sighs> what did I tell you? Sun. Dragons. L look what... What are we dealing with here? Norwin has been fighting a crusade against dragons for a long time. And he gave you Dragon Bane. And you tried to capture one of the dragons? And look what happened. You've paid the price. You're now maimed, my son. You're maimed. How could you do such a thing, you silly fool? <sighs> and he's meant to be a cra <laughs> He's meant to be craven. How did he try to capture that? Uh, Pestid, 24. That would have been a good dragon as well. Look at that. Look at that color. Like ice. That would have been amazing, though. If he'd have caught it, that would have been hilarious. Father tries to kill the dragons, and his son just tames a dragon. His daughter, she actually became a trained fighter. Interesting. Other than that, not particularly great. The son is brave. He sent, he sent him back to be trained by the peak. Of course he did. What happened to the Florent? Did the Florent die? No. Still the same one. What the... I'm sure I sent him and he said yes. Maybe he said no and I didn't read it properly. Manfred Blount. Well, there we go. Another one of the old guard. Uh, bring me knights we can trust. These are the people we trust most. Sir Benedict. Because remember, I am paranoid, so I'm probably going to most likely choose one I trust. Uh, trained fighter. Nothing great. Yeah. Sir Kristen. Trained fighters. Well, not even brave. And Sir Damon. Again, nothing great. We should at least someone who can properly fight if they're going to protect me. You know? If you're going to have someone to protect the family, you should at least have someone who can fight. These people are completely incapable. I'm going to click it once more. Because sometimes it changes. Yeah, we've got some different ones here. Sir Ermond. Uh, Patrick of Riverton. He's at least brave. See, this one's at least a bit better. You know, he's a trained fighter, but at least he's brave. There's six there. Or Peace Swigert. Also brave as well. He's got a small tawny win. But this guy is technically better. I don't know, though. I don't think they're good enough. I want someone above... I usually want someone at least above six. Like, eight is fine. I've been reading the seven points tonight. It claims that death is not something a true believer should be afraid of. Forgive me, Father, for I am sinned. He is chased. Yeah, I think he might ask. Yeah, he goes, Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. And we lost Slothful. So in his old age, you can see he's going to die. He's trying to change his ways a bit. Uh, bring me the nice and powerful houses. There we go. Hmm. Wainwood. I don't think... Ooh, 7.5. I was about to say, I thought it was about to be 6. But it's 7.5. Interesting. Maybe we could make a Wainwood. 7.5. I'm happy with that. Or Edison Brakeson. Ooh. Skilled fighter. An eight there. He's just a bit more, and he's 67 years old. That is quite old. Anyone in my court? Let's have a quick one look at our court. If I can't see anyone that I recognize, I think would be good to protect us. I will choose him, I think, because he's old. Al Kintali. No, he can't protect me. And plus, he's married. That'd be ridiculous. Mikon, he's married as well. Uh, Danny Stark. Is he married? He is married, and he still slept with my family. Ugh. Where is he? Danny, Bertram, um, Eric, Rosby. Eric Rosby. He's also married, and he's not good enough. Okay, we'll just choose you. And he's a member of the King's Guard. He's 67 years old. He's not, <laughs> he's not going to last long. He's older than me, I think. He is. He's two years older than me. I don't think it's going to last long on the King's Guard, but that's fine. It's not about, you know, how long they last. I've chosen these men. If I choose an old man, that's good for my son, then my son can then choose the one he wants. Ah, your son Rupert, remember, he needs someone to protect him. Meros Holy Hall. He's quite old, but he is brave. We can probably trust him. Uh, Jarmin Gower, the best one. I need him to protect me, because I am paranoid. I want the best one to protect me. And Duran of Gull Hall. Okay, we'll go with Meros. We can trust him. And he's not the best fighter. <laughs> he looks like he has no teeth. He's gone so old, he's like, Oh, I, I haven't got my teeth. 
And this man died. Victor Hill. Oh, there we go. The Lord Commander just died. I think we all know who I'm going to choose. Aethon the Hunter. Of course we're choosing. Aethon, you're still alive. 83 years old. No, no, no. That's it. Duran of Gull Hall. And that's who the game thinks I should choose as well. I'm definitely choosing him, to be honest. 51 years old. I think he's earned it. He's one of the first ones we made it. There we go. Uh, ones we can trust again. Just have a look. Uh, Derek. <laughs> he just says, just, my name's Derek. This seems a bit odd. Uh, Simeon. You know, it's odd in Game of Thrones, not actually odd in real life. That would be silly. Okay, none of these men can protect us. None of them. None of them protect my person. Bring us the greatest knights, okay? We, we've had a few we can trust. Uh, Benedict Gower, another Gower. He's actually pretty good. He's not got a tournament win, but a 10 is pretty nice. Wendell Reeve, a riverman. Pretty good as well. And he has a tournament win and a regional. To I think we have to go for him over the other one then. Oh, but we'll be cooler two Gowers. He can be one next time. He's only 23. And we got Garrick Lange. A Skagosi. Ooh. A Skagosi who's faithful for the seven, but he is a drunkard. He's only got 10. He has two regional tawny wins. Ooh, I don't know. I do love the idea of a Skagosi over the Riverman. He's just a drunk. That's his only bad thing. Let's choose him then. There we go. So we've got a drunk Kingsguard member. Garrick Lange. A Skogosi. Possibly the first Skogosi to ever be a member of the Kingsguard. Pretty incredible for him. A good day for all. Master of Coin. Well, she is the best, but she's crippled right now. She might be very good. Uh, Pentoshi. Her blood feud. Great. Uh, maybe I'll choose him, yeah. Keep him happy. Collect taxes. Yeah, go on. Maybe I should make enough money to rebuild um, old stones. I guess we could try to rebuild old stones. Oh, and the hunters finally died. Oh, there we go. Bring the greatest knights. We had some good ones there last time. Heil of Brandy Bottom. <laughs> Brave and Craven. Alex of Wicktown. Huge and skilled fighter and brave. Now this guy's a fighter. Look at that. Two regional tawny wins. Again, he's, he's actually in the phrase lands. The generous. He's 62 years old though. And we got Rickard Bogwell. Rickard Bogwell's probably pretty... Oh, five regional tawny... Pl five plus regional tawny... Oh. A Kranigman. I'm going to choose the Kranigman. Never look much good and white. Oh, that's a shame. A Kranigman and a Skagosi. <laughs> that would have been an interesting lot we'd have had. There's quite a few great... Oh, no. <gasps> it's a dox. We have to... Sorry, sorry, I just got distracted. My, my dog just is looking at me like I just went crazy. <laughs> I think that noise woke him up. But look at that. Duelist, brave, skilled fighter... Only 8.5, though. Is it because he's honest? Yeah, dual skill modifier goes down. That's a shame. Patience should make your dual skill go up. Because like, you're, not, you're not careless, maybe. I don't know. That's something I think. But uh, that would still be awesome. 31 years old. Is he in line to inherit anything? Antario? No. They're not. So Antario. Then you have him. He's his oldest son. Okay, what's the other one then? A uh, Sir Ellery. Pretty good as well. About the same. Nothing special. He's a silver tawny though. Ah, oh, Benedict Gower. I wanted to make the Gower one. But again, he's young. We're going for the dogs. Never look much good in white. No! Burfram. Come on. Burfram. Oh. Could have been. I'm going to click it again. I know we saw the Gower last time, but. I could just go get him. Stormlander. I can't want the Gower now. So Willis. Ooh, quick and skilled and brave. That's pretty good. But I want the Gower. Yeah, we're going for the Gower. Ah, 
Uh, no, the one's below. Point King's Guard. Ah, oh, never look much good in white. None of them want to join my King's Guard. Why? What have I done to them? Okay, we can trust now. Try this once more, then next time we'll go for the best. Six as well. Nah. Damien Bayford. Six. And that guy. Okay. Just go for one of the best ones. Ah, oh, we so we could have had a Dox protecting us. I mean we've had Doxes. Oh, I remember the first Dox King's Guard. That was a great moment. That was so long ago as well. Elmer Yisley. He's a bastard son of a Yisley. Or Isley, I guess. Um Elias of the Tor. He has gonorrhea though. But he's a pretty good fighter. He's better. And he's not distinguished himself. An Osni Tollet. Skilled fighter. He's a cruel man, though. He's 6.5. I did say above. I do want a Tollet. But he's only 18. He's not that great. I don't want any of them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being extremely picky today. Because, you know, this is, this is the future of our dynasty. We're going to end this series. I want to have great men beside us. Lauren, and it's kind of cool to see... Oh, idiot, he's an imbecile. 6.5 though still. Sir Ellery. And Osbert Bulwer. He's probably okay. Bulwer. He's got much more tournament wins than the other guy. So he's a bit more distinguished. Like I say, I like to, the reason I look at tournaments and stuff, the wins, is because it's kind of the people who distinguish themselves or the people the king might know. So we'll go with Bulwer. There we go, we finally got one. A Reachman. A Bulwer. Osbert the Bull, he'll be called, hopefully, one day. One day, hopefully, they'll call him that. How's my son's Maimon? Still hasn't gone. Kind of upset about that, but his son has come to age, and he doesn't look great. He's not got his education yet, but he's only a trained poor fighter. The education did not help. The other son is already a poor fighter. And, and yeah, basically he's not been very good at educating those children. And though I tried to intervene, apparently it didn't work. Didn't work at all. So yeah, we're going to end this part here. Yeah. Crazy, crazy son. I can't believe you're still alive, Norwin. Come on. <laughs> Let your son, like, your son wants to be king. He's going to be 50. He's going to be 50 by the time you die, Norwin. You're like the invincible king. You're the never-ending king. I'll see you guys in the next part then. Will he die? Who knows?